Okay, people, put the napkins down. I understand Black Clover 232 Mimosa was extra scrumptious. Just put the napkins down for a minute. We need to talk about this chapter. <laughs> No, I ain't gonna lie, man. This time skip has been one hell of a trip. I I, I really rock with the way Tabata tells the story, man. It's like one minute we on some action pack, like yo, we just started the time skip. Next minute we on some downtime, etchy scenes, but I ain't too mad at them. I'm not gonna lie. Loto Pachika! <laughs> this chapter, man, a lot to discuss. Asta showing more of his abilities. You know, very, very big mystery at the end, what's going down, an advancement on his position in the golden dawn. Lot to discuss, so without further ado, let's talk that Black Clover greatness! No matter how you move, get it done, no matter how you move, get it done. Okay, so seemingly during the time skip, and last chapter kind of showed a little bit of this, this chapter pushed it even more. A few other people from the Black Bulls and from the Kingdom of Clover have joined up and went to the Heart Kingdom, because remember, before the time skip started, we had just a few people. We had what? It was Asta, Fenrir, Noel. Nero and Mimosa the, the, those were the people but upon this chapter and last chapter as well which I, I thought that they were just like on some covert missions I didn't realize that they were all uh training in the, in the heart kingdom we see that Leopold and Luck yeah just Leopold and Luck have joined up and they've been training in the heart kingdom as well which makes sense honestly it, it makes sense that those two would in particular want to go to heart kingdom but also we get charmy in here as well so charmy uh, maybe she just heard about some good food and decided to come over but leopold and luck well luck he's always wanting a, a, a challenge a battle i'm sure when he heard what asta's doing in the heart kingdom with these strong ass spirit mages like gaja and them he probably was all over it like yes please take me to the fights i need to go yesterday and then leopold you know, he thinks that he has a rivalry, he thinks, uh, with Asta, which, you know, Asta and you know are really the, the rivalry, but whatever. So him coming to and finding out in this chapter that he was training with one of those uh, five great spear mages or whatever the heck they're called. Um, pretty interesting stuff, and it makes sense why he would advance too, because seemingly in the last chapter he was talking like if he's a level one, which is big, big stuff. So uh, this chapter opens up with showing that more people join, which is good, because it was like, well, how else are any of these people who are going to advance? Are they just going to train on their own? And then some people are going to get left behind. So the fact that a few of these people join, I'm curious if any more of the people from Clover Kingdom came over or if this is the main group. Because again, later on in the chapter, we'll talk about that in a bit, Charmy also joined along seemingly because she was in that forest or whatever. So more people from Clover came besides just the few people that we had before the time skip began. And it seems like they're making major moves uh, from the Heart Kingdom to the Spade Kingdom because Loro Pachika basically says that that they've already started advancing they, they've set up shop essentially they've taken over a little piece of spade kingdom and that they want to expand and honestly this chapter again i can't completely I, i'm gonna stick with it until the very end or until something just completely changes my mind and completely gets thought out of it loro pechica she's interesting she's interesting in terms of like i don't completely feel convinced that she is 100 percent uh, a, a trusted ally like she's an ally right now the spade kingdom is full of a bunch of monsters and demons that need to be vanquished and they're a threat to everybody not just the clover kingdom threat to the heart kingdom or whatever so i get that but just seeing in this chapter it was just interesting the way she's like all over everything like Loro Pachika is like wanting to train in a bloody training match with Gaja and Leopold and Asta and all them so she's down for that then she want to go into the hot springs and she's talking about advancing and taking more of Spade Kingdom like she's a great leader in that regard but it also just makes me question because I got to constantly go back to the fact that Heart wasn't an ally to anybody weren't an ally to the Diamond Kingdom of course not to Spade not to Clover they were just neutral Always makes me have just a little question mark as to, well, why are you just neutral? So, still, Loro Pachika, awesome chick. This chapter even further pushing that she's a great leader. Kind of questioning her a little bit. Because she even worked in combination with Noel to send over a water clone of Undine to these spots in the Spade. Which, honestly, the Nation of Spade, like, a lot of this is moving quick. Like, we already got introduced in the last chapter to you know the leaders of the what is it called the dark triad so a lot of things are moving very very quickly uh in this time skip i'm not gonna lie honestly like hearing that they've already occupied a piece of spade with Loro pachica making moves and shit like that things is moving fast and i asked this question um i want to say it was sometime last week or earlier in the week regarding black clover like 
Do you guys feel like maybe it's going a little bit faster than normal? Like, Black Clover's always been a fast manga, very, very fast paced. Um, you know, the animes constantly had to add in extra bits to keep it from completely flying off the rails, but it just seems like ever since the time skip, things are moving really, really freaking quick. Maybe not this chapter so much because it was a pretty chill chapter, but just curious what you guys think about that notion in terms of like, do you think maybe they're rushing Black Clover just a bit? ever since this time skip started or it's just like par for the course with the series just a question we also heard in this chapter that leopold was training with sir frogger the fire guardian something along the lines of that uh, which shows again why he's advanced so much again in the last chapter he was talking like if he's about probably a level one on the magic scale so uh him being level one he's probably not that far away from Fuegoleon. i mean i still personally i think Fuegoleon is on a whole other level than a lot of these people but uh i wouldn't be surprised and if he was training with somebody of that level and asta was really training with Gaja that could explain why they so powered up so moving forward I'm interested to see more of their abilities and stuff like that if they're training with these people that are arguably I, I want to say where they confirm level zeros if he's training with level zeros and he was probably like a level two or three before the time skip better believe he better have some interesting and exciting moves moving forward into the next arc and I'm just hoping that the fact that Leopold and Luck were in particular a part of this training session in Heart that we get to see more of them because if they were a part of the time skip training in Heart Kingdom then that kind of leads for like okay I want to see what y'all learned in Heart Kingdom all this time although I would have liked to be honest with you a little bit more of a setup of them arriving before the time skip started I feel as though Tabata kind of added that after I don't know if that was planned or whatever but it would have been nice to see like them join up just before the time skip started because it kind of just came out of nowhere like Leopold and Luck are, are in Heart Kingdom and Charmy and then the scene that I've seen a lot of people talking about because first of all Finro's stressing he's hearing that they all go into the bathhouse and I don't blame him a bit you got Mimosa, Noel, and Loto Pachika going for a bathhouse and it's like ah like the funny thing is while everybody's having their own little training battles so to speak trying to advance Finro is having his own own womanizing like you know anti-womanizing training because he he can't help himself this dude is like he hears about some tna and the dude is going crazy but it does show some advancement i don't think the fin roll of before the time skip even before he made that promise to uh finesse which was what not not that long ago uh and i'm calling her fine is it finesse finesse whatever the chick that he made the promise to so that he could be with her someday i don't know if he would have necessarily been able to hold himself back because we lead into a hot spring scene and boy i was like yo like granted at the end of the day you know say what you want it was definitely like fan service straight up unapologetic fan service Loto Pachika asking me most of she could squeeze on her and saying how sad it i was like fam well it felt like fairy tale in this bitch for a minute i'm not gonna lie i felt like i was reading fairy tale which thankfully black clover rarely rarely does this so I, I didn't mind it a bit like it's not like fairy tale where you're getting these scenes every other chapter like throwing a little fan service in there with black clover it didn't bother me in the slightest again i think it was showing more so that if Laura pachika let's just say she was to be a traitor it will feel a little bit devastating because she's creating these bonds with mimosa she's creating these bonds with noel she's chilling with them she's talking about training with austin them so if something does go uh, wrong and Loro Pachika whether she dies or something there like the bond has been set and I think that that was one of the things it was doing of course adding fan service because it was and I, again I wasn't mad at it Mimosa I, I I don't know man I, it's hard for me to ship anybody but Mimosa with Asta I mean don't get me wrong I don't think she's gonna end up but Mimosa for life baby Mimosa for life then Asta he's headed to uh the forest because he hears that Charmy has been over there again and we get to see a little glimpse of exactly what is he doing he's controlling his anti-magic to fly on top of his demon what is it it's not the demon slayer sword no more right it's with demon wield I can't but his big ass freaking sword anyway he's controlling his anti-magic to fly on it and that one shot of him standing on his sword it looks Look like a badass version which not to say that that's not badass but it just it, it's a different feeling with goku it, it reminded me of goku on top of his nimbus cloud you know on top of kinton but just like way more badass and shit like I don't, I don't know how to explain it other than that like yo he's on top of a giant freaking sword that he's flying into the sky and I, I love it i love 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 it asta looks freaking cool as shit these are the things about black clover where i'm like 
Tabata has good taste in the way he does things and the way he maneuvers. It just comes across as very freaking cool. Then we get to the forest and uh, Charmy was on her Usopp time skip because she gained a lot of weight eating a lot of foods in this forest, which again, I wonder why Charmy came to the Heart Kingdom. There's a lot of questions as to well, why Leopold, Luck, and Charmy. Is it just for the training? Uh, Charmy is now real fat, which again, I'm imagining she's going to lose the weight very quickly. It, it, that's just a trope of, you know, shown in anime and manga and stuff like that. But it was funny to see, I guess. And it was also good to know that it wasn't just a small group that was training. Like a lot of people have been advancing during the time skip. But I was just kind of like, okay, Charmy's fat now. Yay. Then the ending, finding out that Yuno is now a vice captain, baby. Love to see it. To be honest with you, it's going to be kind of funny to see if uh, William Vengeance is still the head of the Golden Dawn. I think he should have been stripped of that position personally. Like, yo, you betrayed the kingdom. You was responsible for a lot of carnage. He was a traitor, no matter what. He betrayed the kingdom in favor of Patri. So, uh, I, I, I think that he should have been stripped of his uh, title. That's just me. I, I thought it would have been cooler to see Yuno being captain. I mean, vice captain is still dope. I mean, there's some type of advancement there. And his look doesn't look really any different. If anything, I thought his hair looked a little shorter. Maybe that was just me. And he finds out that there's something going on in Hodge. And he's like, tell me everything. Which, that's leading back to the dude that fell over and was like, Master Yuno, a couple chapters ago. Overall chapter, it was a calm chapter. Definitely a lot slower paced, but in a good way. Then the last couple chapters, it was kind of, okay, grounding things, putting things in stone. I think it was more so putting a friendship with Loro Fachika. I don't know if this is setting up for her to die. I don't know if this is setting up for a betrayal. I don't know what it's doing, but the fact that they're pushing forward this bond with Loro Fachika and all these people, something's going to happen, in my personal opinion. Curious what you guys thought about the chapter, though, for starters. How do you feel about seeing Asta the way he's riding that sword? I love it. I love to see it. Uh, what do you think about Yuno's advancement into the vice captain's seat? Do you think that they still allowed William Vengeance to be the captain of the golden dawn that just feels wrong I, i'm not gonna that's like imagine sasuke becoming hokage at the end of the fourth great shinobi war like he didn't kill naruto then but they're like you know what you did a great job man be, be, become hokage despite you being a traitor to the leaf and everything go ahead like i don't know what did he think about that bath scene i'm not gonna lie i liked it <laughs> <laughs> that sounds so creepy. Just stop. Hey, overall thoughts and expectations for the future of this one. This chapter, it was a cool one. I like this chapter too because of the pacing. I felt the last few were pretty, pretty fast. And don't get me wrong, I love the action. I love to see Asta's abilities already. But this one felt like, okay, we're putting things together, slowing things down a little bit. Let's get back on track and see other parts of what's going on in the story since the time skip. Any overall thoughts and expectations for Black Clover with chapter 233 and beyond? Can't freaking wait to see where we're going with this, man. I want to see more of that dark triad. But that's all I have for this one, though. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you liked anything I had to say or enjoyed the video, drop me a like. I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you want more from me, make sure to subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Hit that bell to get all notifications. And if you want to follow any of my other social media, links, of course, are in the description below. I'm from that world. And as always, people, have an awesome day. And remember, Remember the golden rule, anime and manga for life, boy. Have an awesome day, peace in, and mimosa. <laughs> Enjoy the next ride, but I was the best ride. But I hope you know that.